In this video, we're going to take a look at center tab stops in Word 2016. And a tab stop is just a place that you mark on the ruler. And when you press the tab key in your document, it will go over to that mark on the ruler. And depending on what type of tab stop it is, uh, the computer will either left align it under that. If it's a left tab stop, it will right align it under that. Or if it's a right tab stop, and if it's a center tab stop, it will center it under that. Now, um, let's just type in a little bit of junk here. And if all you want to do is just center stuff between the margins, you don't need to mess with tabs. You can just do center alignment right here. And this stuff should be centered halfway between this margin marker right here and this margin marker right here. And I've got standard margins here with one inch on each side. So on an eight and a half inch piece of paper, that leaves six and a half inches. And half of that would be three and a quarter. So if I click right here, and look at the vertical line that appears underneath, uh, you can see that it is centered around that vertical line. Now, uh, if I don't keep dragging my mouse down, I'll end up with a tab stop there, and I don't want the tab stop there, so I'm just going to drag down, and that way I don't clutter up uh, my ruler with any more tab stops. Now, let's go back to left alignment here, which is what you're going to have far more often than center alignment. And let's, um, let's just uh, assume that, let's do some left tab stops first, okay? I'm going to do three things here, and I'm going to type a little junk, and tab, and some junk, and I'm going to do three lines like that, and I'm going to put different amounts of text here each time, and we'll do three lines, tab, okay. Now, up here on this line, the second line, you know, this is visible, this is visible. Uh, the reason those tabs characters are so easily visible is because this was past the one and a half inch mark but not yet to the two inch mark and so there was a little gap in there to get to the two inch mark. Same thing here. This was just barely past two and a half and the next tab stop, default tab stop is the three inch mark and so there's a lot of space in there. Uh, down here I was getting pretty close to the one inch mark when I hit the tab key so there's not much room there for the arrow to show up and here this is almost invisible uh, I was almost to the two inch mark, but not quite when I hit the tab key. And so there's just a little bit of space there. And with all of the text in there, it's difficult to even see that there's an arrow there, but there is. And then down here, you know, these are more visible just because of where I happen to stop. So uh, those are all left tab stops. Because I didn't do anything with the ruler, those are all going to go to the default positions, which is every half inch. And uh, the first one is easy, it goes to the half inch mark. But then after that, where they go depends on how long the text was that I typed on each line. So let's clean this up a little bit. Let's select all three of these lines. And let's go to, let's see, the two inch mark should work. And I still have the wrong type of tab stop there. So let's go over here and let's cycle through these until we get back to a left tab stop. And now let's click at the two inch mark. And um, let's click, uh, let's back up here and click at the half inch marks. That, that wiped out all of the default tab stops here. So what was at the half inch mark now is going all the way over the two inch mark. But if I put a tab stop back there, uh, my first tab stop will be here. My second tab key will go to the second tab stop, which is here. And my last one, let's go to the four inch mark here. And now everything is left aligned at the half inch mark. You see everything is up against that dotted line. Everything is left aligned at the two inch mark and everything is left aligned at the four inch mark. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace each one of those with a center tab stop. And actually that's not going to work on this one because if you look at this, you'll see that to center it under the half inch mark, uh, the whole thing would have to be less than one inch long and it's not. So I think what I'm going to do instead is I'll try putting a center tab stop at one and maybe two and a half or three and then you know four and a half or five so uh, let's cycle through an upside down T is a center tab stop and I'm gonna put one right here at the one inch mark okay now because I've got a second tab character on this line right here it's trying to line it up under this and I'm gonna pull this one and get rid of it and now you can see it's working the way it's supposed to uh, if I click on that and I see the line that drops down, you'll see everything on those three lines is centered underneath that tab stop. Okay. Now I'm going to go put another one in here at two and a half, and 
nothing happens. And the reason nothing happens is because if you look where that center tab stuff goes, uh, all the text actually goes past it. Uh, this two inch tab stop is catching everything here and everything here is too long to get caught by this one so it goes all the way over here. Now I'm going to get rid of the one at the two inch mark and now this center tab stop at two and a half is going to catch that second tab character for all of my three lines down here. And now if I click on that you see everything is going to be centered around that two and a half inch mark. Now I've still got a left tab stop over here and I'm going to go and I'm going to now we'll just pull that off and we'll see what we get. So pull that off and everything looks like it's going back to the three inch default. I've still got defaults here because this is the last tab character I put in. So there's a default here and here and here and here and so on. And I've got a center tab stop here. Let's go to the four and a half inch mark and click on it. And now all of the things after I hit a tab key the third time on the line is going to go to the third tab stop on the line and everything is centered underneath it. So if you want to have stuff centered underneath a specific point on the ruler and it's not the center of the ruler, you're going to have to use tabs. If it's the center of the ruler, you can just do center alignment. But if you want it centered around some other point on the ruler, then you have to use a center tab stop.